It's strange. Gad, Asher, did you hear any noise last night? No. We were asleep. We didn't hear anything. I woke for a moment, but I didn't hear anything. Your father's voice woke me up last night. He was dreaming. When I woke him, he said that ten wolves had been attacking a boy who resembled Joseph and drove him off a cliff. And he got up in the middle of the night and caressed and kissed Joseph. But didn't he recognize the child? He said he couldn't see. But of course it was Joseph. Otherwise, he wouldn't have cuddled and caressed Joseph when he woke up. <laughs> if the child was Joseph, then we brothers must surely be the wolves. <laughs> Do you think it would be funny if your father saw you as wolves? Jacob said he dreamt of ten wolves attacking a boy that looked like Joseph and pushing him off a cliff. That's not a bad dream. What are you saying, Bilha? Jacob saw our children as wolves. You think that's a good dream? The wolves that devour Joseph aren't bad wolves. The children themselves must do something. The children themselves. What's going on? I think I know. Father thinks about Joseph even at night. He even sees him in his sleep. He takes Joseph wherever he goes and even sleeps beside him. Stop fussing, Judah. We still don't know exactly what Father's dream was. Besides, unlike us, Joseph doesn't have a place or mother. So Father has to take him wherever he goes. We know exactly what Father's dream was. He dreamt of us as wolves. Wolves that devour Joseph. Hello, Father. Hello, Father. You mustn't accept whatever someone says and make a fuss about it. My mother said that you saw us like wolves in your dream, and that we were attacking Joseph, and... That is wrong. I dreamt of a few wolves attacking a child. Neither did the wolves resemble you, nor the child, Joseph. I didn't see any face in my dream. Obviously, the ten wolves are us brothers. I didn't count the number of wolves in my dream. Why do you think that there were ten? I love all of you. I have always been grateful and thankful for your hard work. But I can't sit Judah now a grown man, on my lap 
like a little child. None of you are children anymore. When you were little children, I was kind to you as little children. Sat you on my lap, let you sleep beside me. All of you have had both your mother's love and your father's love. No matter how much love Joseph and his brother have, they'll never have it as much as you did. I wouldn't expect you grown-ups to compare yourselves with children. Gad, Asher, ask your mother how I cuddled you last night. Oh, I was awake last night. You put blankets on Gad and me and stroked our heads. I have told you before. Your words show signs of envy. These are devilish thoughts. Don't let those tale bearers and the malicious ignite the flames of envy in you. Father, we'd like to play with Joseph. Why can't we? I have no objection. He is your brother. Who says you can't play with him? I'm certain that he enjoys playing with you as well. Can we play with him now? What are you waiting for? Go on. <laughs> Don't you want to take the sheep to the plane? Forgive us, Father.